Section 7, 1, example 6. So sometimes we don't have the vertex at H at 0, 0, so the vertex might shift. So let's do vertex at H, K. That same vertex we did with parabolas a long time ago. Again, we're just writing it in a new format. So the equation just shifts. So rather than x squared equals 4cy, it's just minus h and minus k for the shift. So x minus h squared equals 4c times y minus k will give us those vertical curves. So those will be up and down. They'll just be shifted. So the vertex will just shift to hk. And then the focus, I find the formulas overwhelming. I just start with 0c and shift it. I find that easier. Same with the directrix. Directrix is y equals negative c, and then I just shift it. Um, but you can see the shift in the formula. So h is just adding h to 0. k is just adding k to c, so c plus k. Directrix is just shifting by k, because that's what y shifts by. So that's why it's negative c plus k. Same thing for horizontal. So rather than y squared equals 4cx, we just shift it. So y minus k equal, squared equals 4cx minus h. Vertex is shifting to hk. And then same with directrix So and focus. Now that we're on the horizontal axis, it's c0, and we just shift it to c plus h and k, and the directrix was x equals negative c, shift it, and we get h minus c from the horizontal shift. So instead of more formulas for the focus and directrix, right, I think we're getting overwhelmed with how many formulas we have. I like to find the focus and directrix for the same parabola with a vertex of 0, 0, and then just shift horizontally by h and vertically by k. All right, so let's look at an example. We're going to have to complete the square again. That's going to pop up a lot in this chapter. So we're going to graph, graph the parabola determined by x squared minus 4x equals 8y minus 28. And we want to find the vertex, focus, and directrix. So we need to get it in this format above. x minus h squared times 4cy minus k. So we're going to have to complete the square so that the left side looks like x minus h squared, and then we'll factor the right side so it looks like 4c times y minus k. So completing the square, x squared minus 4x, I'll leave a gap, equals 8y minus 28. So to complete the square, we're going to take that middle term and divide by 2. And we get negative 2. And then we square negative 2 to complete the square, which is 4. So we add 4. As long as we do that to both sides, we have an equation. We add 4 to both sides. It's allowed. And so that tells me that I will have x minus 2 squared. And then on the right side, we'll simplify a little. We get 8y minus 24. And then we'll factor. Um, 8 comes out and we get y minus 3. And that looks like x minus h, so h would be 2, and y minus k would be 3. So our vertex is now at 2, 3. What else do we know? We need to find c. So we know 4c is equal to 8. So c is equal to 2. So I could use these formulas. I find them overwhelming. So instead, what I'm going to do is I know that I have, since x is squared, I know I have a vertical parabola, which means my focus is on the y-axis. So my focus would have been 0, 2. And then it shifts. The x's shift by 2. Shift horizontal by 2, so plus 2, and then shift the vertical by 3. So it's opposite. So if it's negative in the equation, it's positive shifts. So we shift vertical by 3. 
so we add three. And so our focus is now at two, five. If you use the formulas, you get the same thing. What else do we need? We need the directrix. So the directrix is the opposite of the focus. So it'll be y equals negative two. Because the focus is y is two. And again, it shifts. Since it's a y value, it only has the vertical shift. So it shifts by three. So the directrix would be negative one. The formulas, if you prefer formulas, they give you the same value. For me, I get overwhelmed by all the formulas. So let's start graphing, and then I think we'll find two points after we get the graph started. So let's see, we have the directrix at negative one. Or at one, sorry, negative two plus three is one. My bad, positive one. We have the vertex at two, three. And then we have the focus at two, five. Um, if you did this correctly, vertex to directrix and focus should be the same distance. And notice they are. So that's a good way to check your work. Right, that was that special property of parabolas is that the focus and directrix are the same distance. So that's good. Um, and so last thing we need to know is, does it go this far out, this far out? So we'll use those special points. So we have to shift those special points. Those special points were only for a vertex of zero. So negative two C, C, and then two C and C, but we need to shift. So let's find them and then we'll shift them. So C was two. So negative two times two is negative four and two, and then positive four and two. So these would be the case if the vertex were zero, zero. So we're just gonna shift them. So the X's shift by two, plus two, plus two, and the Y's shift by three, plus three, plus three. So negative four plus two for the X value gives me negative two. Two plus three for the Y value gives me five. Um, four plus two gives me six, and then five for the other y value. So we'll plot those. Those should make a nice focal chord. So those should be in the same line as the focus. So six, five. We go over six, up five. Negative two, five. We go over negative two, up to five. We should have that nice focal chord if everything's correct and then we can connect them to make a parabola. So again, I prefer shifting rather than learning all these crazy new formulas. Um, I hope this helps.